Hi friends, this lesson is for Module 3, Lesson 7. We've been doing a lot of work with measurement, and today we're going to measure again, but in a little bit of a different kind of a way. I'll show you. So I had a question. Can I only measure something if I have a ruler, or in our case, our centimeter cubes? If I want to measure something and let someone know how long it is, of course, remember, I need some kind of unit of measurement. We've been using centimeter cubes, but is that the only thing I can use? Mm, no, the answer is actually no. So I found this little caterpillar. I think he's not the friendly kind, so I want to touch him. But I wanted to see how long he was. I know that I want to go from one end point to the next. I didn't have a centimeter cubes to be able to measure him with, so I found something else. I found paper clips. How long is my friend in paper clips? That's right, he's two paper clips long. So I could say, the caterpillar is two blank long. He's two, no, no, not centimeters. I don't use centimeter cubes. He's two, yeah, he's two paper clips long. That way, say I wanted to tell Mrs. Staff how long my, cat, my caterpillar is, I could just tell her he's about as long as two paper clips and then she would know exactly how long he is. So I guess that answers my question. Can I only measure something if I have a ruler? The answer is no. Today, our learning goal is gonna talk a little bit more about these paper clips. Our goal says, I can measure something, or I can measure it using a non-standard unit. Non-standard means anything. You can measure anything with any kind of object as long as you use the same object over and over. You'll notice I didn't mix up paper clips with thumbtacks. I kept them all the same. And that's just fine to do when you're measuring with non-standard units. Here, I'm gonna show you some examples. So here are some paper clips. I line them up nice and neat, just like I would with my centimeter cubes. Notice there isn't one missing. They're all put together in a nice straight line. That's because the same rules apply. I can't have them all a hot mess on my paper. They have to be in a nice straight line, all connected together, just like my centimeter cubes are. Now, when I have my object, I want to make sure and line it up with the end point. So here we go. There's my little caterpillar friend. Do you notice how I lined up the end point with my caterpillar with that very first paper clip? Good job. How long is this paper clip, or sorry, is this caterpillar? If I had to describe them as, as far as the links in paper clips, what could you say? Yeah, I'd say that too. I'd say that caterpillar is one paper clip long. What about this friend? What about this ladybug friend? How long would you say that ladybug is? That's right, he's two. Uh, two what? Yeah, two paper clips long. See, I can measure using, using different objects besides just centimeter cubes. As long as I use the same object over and over, and I don't make them all wiggly wobbly on the bottom, and then they're a nice straight line, and I line at the endpoints. Great, you're doing an awesome job, friend. Let's keep cruising. Now, there's my friend Snaily. He's adorable. And I'm going to go ahead and put my paper clips out because I want to measure to see how long he is. All right, he's about, well, I hope you stopped me, friend. Of course I can't measure him when he's so far away. Remember, the same rules apply. What do I need to do with my paper clips and my little Snaily friend? Yeah, did you say line up the endpoints? I for sure have to do that. Snaily, go ahead and go buy the paper clips. Oh yeah, that makes it much clearer to see how long he is. He is one, two, three, four paper clips long. Let's try it again. There's my friend Butterfly. Oh, see, I already have my paper clips down at the bottom, and I'm going to measure up. Oh. oh no. I need to measure how tall he is, starting from the bottom all the way up past his antlers. Do you think it's going to work out if I have the paper clips underneath him, if I'm supposed to measure how tall he is? No way, of course. Yeah, you're right. Where would my paper clips go? Go ahead and point to where my paper clips should go if I'm measuring how tall he is. Did you put them right there? Ugh, you're so good. All right, how many paper clips tall is my friend Butterfly? That's right, he's about four paper clips tall. Wow, we did so well today. Our learning goal said, I can measure using a non-standard unit. And that really just means anything I can measure with. In this case, we're using paper clips. I think we've done a pretty good job, but right now it's your turn to practice. 
So you're going to measure using this non-standard unit of paper clips. The first thing you need to do is get an exit ticket from your teacher. It looks like this. You'll notice along the side over where that arrow is pointing that there are paper clips going down the side. It's all in one big piece of paper. So where it has that little dotted line right there, you can go ahead and cut off that strip of paper and then you'll already have all of your paper clips lined up and you won't have to worry about getting them all out and making a mess. It'll make it way easier to keep them all in line. You're going to measure all of the objects and then write their length. All right. Once you're done with that, you're going to be using that as your new non-standard unit. When you're done with that, make sure that you seesaw your picture to teacher or turn in your exit ticket. Good luck, friends.